Hey everybody, welcome in. My name is Amanda and this is The Connected Conduit. I have quite a powerful message for you coming through. I'm receiving the song The Secret Garden by Bruce Springsteen. So this is going to be a love reading between you and your person. This will be a divine masculine, divine feminine reading. It's timeless, you guys, so whenever you find it, you are meant to. But that's the song I'm getting loud and clear, Secret Garden, Bruce Springsteen. It is from the movie, a <laughs> very well-known movie, Jerry Maguire. So that could resonate with you. This could be one of your favorite songs. Um, your DM could have sent you this song, um, something like this. You guys could have watched that movie together. So I'm going to read to you some of the lyrics, okay? It's, it's quite, quite intense. So here we go. She'll let you in her house if you come knocking late at night. She'll let you in her mouth if the words you say are right. If you pay the price, she'll let you deep inside. But there's a secret garden she hides. She'll let you in her car to go driving round. She'll let you into the parts of herself that'll bring you down. She'll let you in her heart if you got a hammer and a vice. But into her secret garden, don't think twice. You've got a million, or sorry, you've gone a million miles how far did you get to that place where you can't remember and you can't forget? She'll lead you down the path. There'll be tenderness in the air. She'll let you come just far enough so you know she's really there. Then she'll look at you and smile and her eyes will say, she's got a secret garden where everything you want, where everything you need will always stay a million miles away. Ooh. Okay, so this talks to you, Divine Feminine, having a secret garden, a secret place within your heart and soul that nobody, nobody has access to. Not even your Divine Masculine. They don't know this secret hiding place, but they know it exists. And man, do they want to taste. They want a taste of your secret garden, Divine Feminine. This is like their greatest desire. They want to know what's in your heart and your soul. They want to know the secrets you keep. Your divine masculine finds you so mysterious. High priestess type of energy. You're hard to read. You're difficult to predict. You're very secretive. Just when they think they have you pegged, you go and do something that shakes them, that totally surprises them. They cannot predict your moves. You are 10 steps ahead all the time. You are all knowing and you're very private, right? You don't let just anyone into your secret place into, you know, you don't just let anyone into your house or on your social media. You know, you're very protective of your peace, your wisdom, your knowledge, your house, your home, your kids, what you've built. You're protective over your energy. And Divine Feminine, your masculine knows that only someone with the magic key will ever enter your secret garden. And that's where they want to go. They want in. They want access where you've never let anyone in before. I feel like many of your Divine Masculines know that they could most likely have you intimately if they really wanted to, if they really tried, if they really pursued you. But they know that if they did that without building a trusting bond with you first, without building that relationship and getting to know you and building a foundation, they stand the chance of being shut out, shut out completely from your secret garden. They could lose access altogether. So this divine masculine knows you are an endless sea of secrets, an ancient soul who holds access to limitless spiritual wisdom, which constantly helps keep you in bloom, if you will, <laughs> right? In bloom. It keeps your garden in bloom because you're so divine and you're connected and you have limitless potential. You have access to any types of energy that you wish. You're magical and your garden keeps growing. It's very plentiful. You're very abundant. You're magical. You're the empress and the magician. 
Okay, I feel called to pull on this. Um, yeah, it's really quite a moving song. It says, you know, you can be intimate with Divine Feminine, but there's a place where she may never, ever let you get to that only she keeps for herself and no man may enter. And your Divine Masculine wants to go there so bad. It's almost like where they would be reborn. And I know this sounds really dramatic, but that's what I'm getting. They want to know you so deeply. They want to know everything about you. And they wonder, they wonder, will Divine Feminine ever let me into her secret garden? It's a beautiful song if you guys haven't heard it and you feel called to listen to it i highly recommend that oh my gosh i think i'm gonna cry <laughs> it's the sacred well right it's your sacred well your sacred space and if you look this lady is holding her heart and her womb her heart and her soul She's protecting her garden, her bounty, her abundance, her body, her energy, her divinity. She's protecting her garden. If you look behind this woman, there is a beautiful rose bush and they're white roses with yellow centers. The way the water is flowing over the edge, it almost looks like she has wings angelic you could look like this woman in the picture but you don't have to it says replenishment self-care giving from a place of plenty this woman is basically partially nude here okay as she goes into the water She's going into the water to give birth, is how it feels to me. And she's by herself. Nobody else is around. This is her space. This is where she feels at home, at peace. This is where she feels the most serenity, the most creative. This is the space your masculine wishes to join you in. She's got a secret garden where everything you want, where everything you need will always stay a million miles away. I'm getting quite emotional. Everything you create is from the heart space, Divine Feminine metamorphosis embrace transformation things are now different rebirth massive change occurring here in your life the connection between your divine masculine and you is shifting big time you guys and i've been picking up on this energy i've been picking up on this for the last week or so Things are different. Follow the stream, dedication, trust, future rivers and oceans. Your divine masculine is following you. They're following your lead. There you are off in the distance and they're rushing to catch up. In fact, I see your masculine floating down this river in order to catch up to you. And the river represents their emotions their feelings, so they're finally getting on board, allowing themselves to immerse themselves with their feelings and go with the flow, flow down that river right towards you before you disappear like you were a dream, before you vanish. Okay.
how does divine feminine feel about her secret garden <laughs> how does divine feminine feel about her secret garden when it comes to the divine masculine or other masculine energies in her life the strength card yeah that she'll protect it she'll protect it in order to enter my secret garden you must obey by the rules if you look in this card, this empress is taming the beast, taming the lion, taming the divine masculine. If you want to enter my secret garden, you must play by the rules. You must fall in line. It's not going to be your way or the highway. That's not it at all. That's not how divine feminine plays. Divine feminine doesn't even play. But that's what I'm getting. Divine Masculine would have to drop their ego, drop their pride, open up, express their truth and the depths of their feelings to Divine Feminine. Otherwise, there is absolutely no access. Yeah, the Six of Cups. Your person's coming back around. This represents past life soulmates, reconciliation. You guys feel like home to one another. This is a sweet tenor. I said tenor. Hmm. Maybe you're, you play the tenor sax. <laughs> I don't know. Everything I say is for a reason. So you never know. The word tenor slipped out. Maybe that is slang for like, hey, you got 10 bucks. You got a tenor on you. You got a tenor. Take it how it resonates, you guys. Maybe your name is Tanner or Tenor. I don't know. But this is a very tender love. Very sweet. Very tender. I want to know how the masculine feels about the Divine Feminine's secret garden. I want to see the energy around the Divine Masculine there. Justice. I see this as like a protective energy. Right? You've got your sword raised, you're facing direct towards somebody. You know, whoever comes towards me must be fair, just, honorable, and truthful and they must be in their integrity. I'm hearing it's my decision. It's my decision. I feel like your masculine thinks it's very, you know, fair and just of you to protect your sacred well, your secret garden, that sacred place within. The fool. They want in, though. <laughs> they want in. They're following your lead. They love the way how they love the way you live. You're authentic. You're original. You take risks. And I just had a card fall on the floor and it's the chariot. So they want in. <laughs> See? They want in. They're they're driven. They are determined. Knight of Cups. But they know they're gonna have to speak. They're gonna have to share their feelings with you. They're gonna have to speak up. Okay, what can you expect next from your masculine regarding this situation? I just heard a divine masculine go, you put me in my place. You've just totally put me in my place. I deserve that. 
so justice here. You put me in your in my place. So you could have set good boundaries with your masculine and they loved it. It may have taken a little, you know, chip out of their ego. It may have been a blow to their ego, but deep down inside, they loved that you stood up to them. They loved that you, you're hard, not hard to get, but almost, right? Like you you have high standards. You have very high standards and only the person with the key is going to have access to your garden gate. Yeah, the King of Swords. The King of Swords is someone who comes in and acts with truth, honor, and integrity. Your masculine has something they really want to talk to you about. And this time around, they want to do it right. They want to do it right and they want to start over. That's what I just heard. They want to start over. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing the word trust. So there's something here, Divine Feminine, where your masculine could have broken your trust or almost broken your trust. Or they made you doubt your connection in some way. Because in my channeled message, I did channel out... Your divine masculine knows that they could most likely have you intimately if they really wanted to, but they know that if they did that without building a trusting bond with you first, right? A trusting bond with you first, they could stand the chance of being shut out of your secret garden forever. And they, they're not willing to take that risk. So with the King of Swords and Justice here, that is definitely backing up that that um, part of the message that your masculine wants first and foremost to build a trusting bond with you, a solid base, a solid foundation on which to build this connection. Ten of Cups, happily ever after, creating your heaven on earth, What does your Divine Masculine wish to say to you from their heart space right here, right now? I'm hearing I miss you. The Emperor. Wow. They're ready to be your Emperor. They're ready to rise. Step into those shoes. Take charge. Take control of this situation. Take control of their life and of the connection between the two of you. They're ready to be your emperor because only the emperor, a very, very special emperor, gets the key. Only the emperor gets access. And even then, <laughs> it's a maybe. <laughs> It's interesting because I'm noticing the emperor is holding a fruit, I think. I think it's an orange. Right? And it, it's just making me feel like... The emperor is not surrounded by abundance. The emperor is surrounded by like a hard throne. And I don't know what's in the background. It almost looks like hard dry desert rock <laughs> this is not an oasis of abundance okay in the empress card the empress is surrounded by trees and water and lusciousness and wheat and life right very fertile full of life and abundance fruit plants trees everything you could ever want right but the emperor is does not have that ability to to grow <laughs> the same way the empress does right so the emperor is holding on to an orange that the empress probably gave him from her secret garden going here hopefully this will sustain you long enough and the emperor is going i'm running out i'm running out of orange slices <laughs> i need more vitamin c and uh, i'm gonna need more sustenance sustenance than this i need my life giver i need the empress we need each other. We need that yin and yang. 
to balance each other out. I'm hearing the seed and the womb, the seed and the womb. Right? And that's how creation is made. Even with fruit, you plant the seed, it grows into a tree, it produces more fruit, the fruit drops, the seeds go into the ground, it grows more trees, and so on and so forth. But the problem is, is that the emperor doesn't have fertile ground. The emperor does not have the ability to plant this orange and make more. So that's why your emperor needs you. The emperor, your divine masculine, needs your secret garden. See? They need your secret garden, divine feminine. The sacred well, your fertile soil, your fertile womb. Many of you are meant to procreate and have children. Many of you are meant to come together and birth businesses, passion projects, art, wisdom. It could be anything, but you're meant to be a team. You're meant to be a team. So your divine masculine is stepping into those shoes, becoming the emperor for you and for themselves in their own life. I'm hearing you're all I want, you're all I need. You're all I want, you're all I need. Okay, let's pull some direct messages. Your ability, Divine Feminine, to release, relax, go with the flow, and allow things to unfold naturally in your connection has really propelled this connection forward. It's given your masculine time, space, and the freedom to come to their own conclusions in their own time, on their own term. I'm hearing spirit go, that was a good call. Good call, Divine Feminine. My heart yearns for you. My soul sings for you. I'm hearing I should have told you sooner. I should have told you how I felt sooner. I don't want to lose you. I'll do anything for you. There's been a shift, you guys. There's been a huge shift here. My friends think you're super hot and really intelligent. They're encouraging me to go for it, to pursue you. This, this literally came out in the last reading. You're hot, so hot. I'm so attracted to you. You're the complete package. You've got it all. Yeah. They find you so mysterious, hard to read, secretive, and they love it. They just don't know what to expect. I have walked away from someone that was not serving me. So for some of you, your divine masculine has left a karmic partner or a karmic job or a situation or a location where they were not happy. They walked away from that. They've made some sort of a sacrifice. Although it wasn't a sacrifice. I just heard a masculine go, it wasn't a sacrifice. I did it of my own free will and I did it gladly. You make me want to man up, woman up, and show up for you in all ways. Look at that. That confirms the emperor card. You make me want to man up. You make me want to be a man, take control, take the lead, be an emperor for you. I want to plant these seeds in your garden. I want to create a life with you, Divine Feminine. Will you let me in to your secret garden? Because that's where they want to go. 
they don't just want to be intimate with you, Divine Feminine. Like, they want to know the deepest parts of you, the deepest parts of your soul, of your being, of your existence, of your essence. Okay, and this might sound a little woo-woo or too frou-frou and doo-doo and lulu for you, but <laughs> hey, that's what's coming through, and uh, I'm going to give it. I'm going to give what comes through. It's romantic. It's romantic, and I feel like your Divine Masculine is very deep. They're very romantic, and this might surprise you. Because I don't know if they've even let you into their secret garden. <laughs> I think they have been keeping many secrets from you as well, including how much they love you. Okay, this is your last chance, Divine Masculine. Speak now or forever hold your peace. Ooh, I've been having sexual dreams about you I wake up aroused yeah I'm not surprised you know I'm not surprised that this came out considering the, the song that I've been channeling for you which is all about intimacy between two people <laughs> a man and a woman or whatever gender you identify with but um yeah They've been dreaming about entering your secret garden. And it's all consuming. Okay, so you guys, this is what I have for you. Um, I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe on your way out. I would love to have you and I would appreciate that so very much. And if you feel called to check that song out and listen to it, I feel that there could be, you know, another message in there for you if you watch the video. Okay, so they don't want to be shut out. They're going to take their time. They're going to do it right. They want to build trust. They want to talk. They're coming from a good place, a place of purity. They want to, and I know this, again, it sounds a little over the top, but they revere you. They revere you. You are sacred to your divine masculine. You are sacred to them. And they're going to treat you as such. Okay? So there you go, my loves. There you go. All right. Sending you all my love, all the good vibes. Stay aligned, my friends. Stay aligned. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.